since every human being is created in the image of God, and because every human being, they're, um, they're an offshoot of an offshoot of an offshoot of Adam in some way, whether, you know, however you want to look at it, they are an offspring of Adam. However you want to look at it, there's some connection, there, there's, there's a divine image. There is a divine image. And so, you know, it, there is a return. There's, there's certainly a return. There's no question about it. But there's also an element of, a powerful element of rectification. You know, there's a powerful element of um, renewal, of maybe even really more powerful, of, of revolution, really. There's a powerful element of revolution. Um, there's a powerful element of, I've spoken about this in previous lectures, of, of conquest, of, 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 of a de defeat, uh, of, um, you know, of a hostile rulership over the territory. And you're, you've actually, you know, prevailed over that hostile and, and reestablished a very, very old, you know, kingship that hasn't been there in a very, very long time. So it's an incredible act on many levels. Um, so, and really in that way brings out the wondrousness of God, that God can change things. You know, it's actually, you could say, it, it represents a force that's above it appears to be something that is uh, comes from a very deep source that's almost above the order of the world. I mean, you've hit on something very deep there. You know, you could even say that because we already say that tshuva is, uh, you know, is 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 comes from an energy that's above the world. And I think what it's coming back to really is you're returning to Israel. Is another element of it. You're returning to Israel because you're you're bonding with with the Jewish people. And um, I mean, you know, the Kabbalistic sources, the Hasidic sources, they talk about how, how tshuva really comes from above Torah. It's actually above Torah. And above Torah is Israel. Israel is even, in other words, when I'm talking about Israel, we're, talking about, we're not talking about, uh, you know, the individual walking down the street, but we're talking about the essence of Israel. In its essence, uh, the collective spiritual body of Israel. And what that represents is something that's so intrinsically tied up with God. And the way that that manifests in this world is a people that no matter how ridiculous they get, they can't cut off from God. <laughs> so, you know, in other words, you know, where you're bringing out a point, which is that what can we learn from the fact that so many Jews are so distant? What in the world can be the message from that? So unfortunately, once again, there's a wrong message that that's, was understood by the nations because they didn't study the Torah properly. And that message was, well, the Jews are rejected and they've done wrong. God doesn't want to deal with them anymore. But that's the wrong message. The message that God wants to show is something which is incredible, which really needs to be, uh, it needs to be, it needs to be examined to the deepest depths because it's, it's, it just, it really reflects on God's greatness more than Israel's. What it reflects is that there's going to be a people in this world that's going to head this world towards its rectification, whether they like it or not, whether they're ridiculous, whatever happens with them, they're going to represent me no matter what happens, and people are not going to like them, and they're going to be different, and they're going to remain that way until eventually they're going to come back and everything is going to get straightened out. But this represents God's love for the whole world, that he made such an entity that would have that type of a form. But, but the, the point, in very simple terms, what Israel represents is this idea of being no compromise bond with, bonded with God. That there's nothing, that, that, that's it. There's nothing, there's no reason, there's no explanations, there's no, there's no uh, rules to it. It just is a fact. There's, there's only God, there's nothing else. Um, and in that place, you could say similarly about the non-Jews. In that place, when you come to a place where there's God but nothing else, then even those things that appear against fall away. Everything falls away. And that is a bit of this spark of, of, of this uh, Noahide uh, movement. 
There's no question about it. This is this is part of of that uh, of this uh, this way we're going. It's just that the question is uh, um, how. <laughs> Hopefully we won't have to wait much longer. That's all I can say.